So this is pre-calculus, topic five, A6, and we are going to uh, do some indirect measure. So we're told that we have this angle B, and it results where there's a side here that's five long, and the, and the radius is 13. We have this angle A, eight high, radius is 17. And what we're asked to do is figure out the cosine of if we were to go um, angle A minus angle B. And same thing, sine if we went angle A minus B, tangent. And then the question, uh, what quadrant would A minus B terminate in? So we're actually not going to figure out the angles, the measures of angle A or angle B. We're going to get at these indirectly. Um, because one of the things that I know, for example, is this cosine of A minus B, I can do that expansion right here with what Keith tells me. Cosine of A plus or minus B is cosine of A cosine of B minus or plus sine of A sine of B. So I'm going to expand it out that way. And notice if I do that, um, I have cosine of the first one, uh, cosine of the second one, opposite operator, sine of the first one, sine of the second one. So if I could just find those values, cosine A, cosine B, sine A, sine B, I just plug them in and do that, uh, do that addition. So as I look at B, I know right off the bat, uh, cosine, cosine's width, X over R adjacent over hypotenuse. So I know that the, the cosine of B has a value of 5 thirteenths. And I also know that I could figure out sine B. I, could, I can use Pythagorean theorem here. And notice that I already know the, the hypotenuse. So I'm going to go uh, 13 squared minus 5 squared, and then square root that. And I'll just do that on my calculator. Square root of 144 which is 12. So I know that this distance here is 12, but I'm gonna pay really careful attention to the direction. It's going down 12, so this is a negative 12. So sine of B must be negative 12 thirteenths. So let me look over here about what I know about A. Um, I know sine, sine's about height. So sine would be 8 seventeenths y over r. And then I can get at uh, cosine of a, similarly on how I got sin towards sine of a here, I'm using Pythagorean theorem to figure out this distance. And I already know uh, the hypotenuse, so it's going to be the square root of 17 squared minus 8 squared. So let me see what I got here, 17 squared minus 8 squared on my calculator, 225. And if I square root 225, I get 15. So this is 15 long, but again, I have to pay direction, uh, attention to direction. It's going back that amount. So this is a negative 15. So cosine of A is negative 15 seventeenths. All right, and here's what I, what I love about this is I know these values, cosine A times cosine B, that would be the same as cosine A is negative 15 seventeenths. Cosine B is 5 thirteenths plus sine A, 8 seventeenths times sine b, negative 12 thirteenths. And I can just uh, put that into my calculator, do it by hand, however it is that I, that I want to do it. Um, and let's see what I get it is negative 171, 221st. So if I knew a and b, and I subtracted a minus b, and then I took cosine of that, I would get that ratio. All right, well, let's do the, the same with the rest of these. Uh, so sine of A minus B, and that was sine. So I know that sine, sine of the first, cosine of the second, same operator, cosine of the first, sine of the second. So this sine A minus B, that's the same as um, sine A, cos B, same operator, cos A times sine B. So I can just substitute in those values. Sine A is 8 seventeenths. Cosine B, 5 thirteenths. Minus cosine of A, negative 15 seventeenths. And then sine of B, negative 12 thirteenths. And if I do that, I get negative 140, 
also over 221. All right, so tangent, there is a tangent rule, I could use it, but I also know that tangent is y over x, or sine over cosine. So sine of a minus b, I've already found out, it's, it's right here. It's negative 140 over 221, and that's over cosine of a minus b, negative 171 over 221. And I go to simplify this fraction. One thing I could notice is the 221sts, the 1 over 221 and the 1 over 221, that divides out, which leaves me negative 140 over negative 171, which is 140 over 171. Uh, if you don't like the way I did that, think of this as division. So you could say this is negative 140 over 221 divided by negative 171 over 221. When you divide by a fraction, you can take the reciprocal and multiply, take the reciprocal of what you're dividing by. And uh, again, those 221s divide out, and that leaves me negative 140 over negative 171, which is just that. So there's my answers so far. And the last thing is, what quadrant would A minus B terminate in? Where would it be? Um, if I just knew what a minus b was and I went to graph it, would it end in the third quadrant, the fourth, like where would it end? And this is how I can tell. I notice that cosine is negative. So if cosine is negative, cosine is about width. So that means um, if cosine is negative, it must go back to the left. So I also know that sine is negative. So if sine is negative, that means it must be also going down. So if it's going back and down, it has to be here in quadrant three. So it must terminate in quadrant three when both cosine and sine are negative.